Enter on. How the Prophet, peace be upon him, turned his back towards the people while offering the Salat prayer for rain. Narrated Abed bin Tamim, may Allah be pleased with him, that his uncle said, I saw the Prophet, peace be upon him, on the day when he went out to offer the istisqa prayer. He turned his back towards the people and faced the Qibla and invoked Allah for rain. Then he turned his cloak inside out and led us a two rak'ah prayer with loud recitation. Chapter on The Salatul Istisqa Istisqa prayer consists of two rak'ah. Narrated Abed bin Tamim, may Allah be pleased with him, that his uncle said, The Prophet, peace be upon him, invoked Allah for rain and offered a two rak'ah salat prayer, and he turned his cloak inside out. Chapter on to offer the istisqa prayer at the musalla. Narrated Abed bin Tamim, may Allah be pleased with him, that his uncle said, The Prophet, peace be upon him, went towards the musalla to offer the istisqa prayer. He faced the qibla and offered a two rak'ah salat prayer and turned his cloak inside out. Narrated Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him, the Prophet, peace be upon him, put the right side of his cloak on his left side. Chapter on Facing the Qibla while offering the istisqa prayer Narrated Abdullah bin Zayd al-Ansari, may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, went towards the musalla to offer the istisqa prayer. And when he invoked Allah or intended to invoke Allah, he faced the Qibla and turned his cloak inside out. Chapter on While offering the istisqa prayer, the people should raise their hands for invocation along with the Imam. Narrated Anas bin Malik, may Allah be pleased with him. A Bedouin came to Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, on a Friday and said, O Allah's Messenger, the livestock, the offspring, and the people have perished. So Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, raised both his hands, invoking Allah for rain. And the people too raised their hands with Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, invoking Allah for rain. We had not left the mosque when it started raining. It rained till the next Friday, when the same man came to Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, and said, O oh Allah's Messenger, the travelers are compelled to postpone their journeys because of excessive rain, and the roads are over flooded. The narrator Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, added that the Prophet, peace be upon him, raised his hand during the invocation, to such an extent that the whiteness of his armpits was visible. Chapter on the raising of both hands by the Imam during istisqa while invoking Allah for rain. Narrated Anas bin Malik, may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, never raised his hands for any invocation except for that of istisqa. And he used to raise them so much that the whiteness of his armpits became visible. Note. It may be that Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, did not see the Prophet, peace be upon him, raising his hands. But it is narrated that the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to raise his hands for invocations other than istisqa. See Hadith number 1751, 1752, Volume 2. And also see Hadith number 4323, Volume 5, Hadith number 6383, Volume 8. Chapter on What should be said or what to say if it rains? Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. Whenever Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, saw the rain, he used to say, O oh Allah, let it be a fruitful rain. Chapter on one who stood in the rain till the water started trickling down his beard. Narrated Anas bin Malik, may Allah be pleased with him. In the lifetime of Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, the people were afflicted with a drought, famine, year. 
While the Prophet, peace be upon him, was delivering the khutbah, religious talk, on the pulpit on a Friday, a Bedouin stood up and said, O oh Allah's Messenger, the livestock are dying and the family's offspring are hungry. Please invoke Allah to bless us with rain. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, raised both his hands towards the sky, and at that time, there was not a trace of cloud in the sky. Then the clouds started gathering like mountains. Before he got down from the pulpit, I saw rain water trickling down his beard. It rained that day, the next day, the third day, the fourth day, and till the next Friday, when the same Bedouin or some other person stood up during the Friday khutbah and said, O oh Allah's Messenger, the houses have collapsed and the livestock are drowned. Please invoke Allah for us. So Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, raised both his hands and said, O oh Allah, around us and not on us. Whichever side the Prophet, peace be upon him, directed his hand, the clouds dispersed from there till a hole in the clouds was formed over al Medina. The valley of Qanat remained flowing with water for one month, and none came from the outside who didn't talk about the abundant rain.